Hello everyone, this is Antinduk2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Refined Machinery. A mod that allows you to use, obviously, a bunch of machines, gather ores, use a quarry, get robo wings to fly, so a powered elytra, exchange things, and a lot more. To start the mod, of course, you'll need any of the five ores. So copper, tin, lead, silver, and nickel. They're pretty much at the expected um, Y levels. So obviously, the first two being at least coal or iron level. The lead and silver being gold, and nickel being about the same. Otherwise, obviously, they have storage block forms, ingots, dusts, and otherwise. Start off with the machines, as well as a bit of recipes. Pulverizer. It's made with steel, machine frame, and flint, which obviously which you use it for dusts as well as probably a few other recipes, but I don't know of many. I only know of at least the corresponding dusts here, at least from what I can see in REI at least, so I don't have the ability to actually go on the block and find out myself, so I'm not too sure. Um, but I'd say they're mostly to do with the mod, at least, rather than certain other vanilla recipes. Um, the furnace is pretty much what you'd expect. You would be smelting things. So I'll just demonstrate with the dust here the speed of the machine. I'll demonstrate the same with the pulverizer. To obviously transport between things, you'd be most likely using a hopper because it obviously can't transport to the other. So let's get a, another one there. And we'd be transporting to the below there. Which is obviously made with diamond dust, so you will need a pulverizer first to make diamond dust to then get the energy furnace. The energy charger is for charging things like steel, the energy sword, robo wings, and the exchanger. This is made like so, with gold and lead and machine frame. The disenchanter is obviously for disenchanting things, so obviously if you had an enchanted energy sword for example, or certain other things, you could obviously have it where you have at least a book here to go through its progress bar and not get consumed by the hopper below where enchanted books can be deposited but also regular books so you're going to want to be careful of that progress bar will go, it'll take a bit of power obviously and it'll disenchant in order the enchantments applied so you can see in that with how I had looting on it before besides sweeping edge that it obviously took the following enchants off of it. That's obviously crafted like so, with emeralds, steel, and otherwise. One thing to keep in mind with the machines though, is the fact that the power from at least the energy cell, or say a generator, will go through the cables from the left to the right. So it'll go from pulverizer, energized furnace, energy charger and then disenchanter. It took a while before it reached the farmer. So if I demonstrate for example with some other machines like a pulverizer and furnace here. So I don't want to do something with too long of a reach to demonstrate this. I'll just put them above for example. And I'll have a solar panel going. They'll go to this pulverizer first, and then a smaller amount of it behind um, will be put into the energy furnace. Otherwise, though, obviously, we have the cardinal energy cell, which requires energized steel. So, obviously, you're going to want to put it into the uh, some steel into the energy charger, and as you can see, it's still going. And obviously, it doesn't have an interface, it has a display like so, displaying the amount of energy inside, and you can obviously output from multiple sides. Otherwise though, we've got the coal generator, which is like so, like you expect, I mean, a coal generator, pretty simple. 
Um, from what I've noticed, obviously, the energy cell will have it where, or at least a coal generator at least, um, will have it where it'll only display 500 at least before it moves on. Um, whilst with the lava or um, solar panel related outputters of power, it'll have it where obviously the number just keeps climbing as you'd expect. Otherwise though, lava generator, it's like so, you put at least 1000 of lava or a bucket of lava in and it'll remove it over time and you can see it outputting the display on top because there is no interface. Otherwise though, we have wireless transport power with a wireless energy controller and a transmitter which, like you'd expect with wireless transporting of power, besides the cables, you'd have it where obviously you have a linking tool, which you shift right click and then shift right click on the controller to have a beam obviously showing in that where it's going to direct it. If I put some hole in like so, it'll direct it to the following, I've got it with the cable as well as the other, so I can actually redirect these if I wish. Once two, and it should be able to transmit power. Don't seem to be doing that too well though. Yeah, so I'll get that going again. So that should be going and transmitting power. Unless it's only with machines, I would assume, but not with the energy cell. Um, I probably might want to do that then instead of the energy cell. We should get power transmitted through it. Yeah, so it seems like it wants to transmit power, but it doesn't want to output it. I'll do that again. No, okay, so nothing seems to be transmitting through. We'll see if that's a bug or not later though. Otherwise, still a thing. The farmer block has it where obviously it'll output things at the bottom. You put seeds, saplings, or otherwise in, and it'll work. Upon spawning it though, one thing to consider, besides its recipe, is that it will obviously spawn like so, with already tilled land. And then from there, obviously, you can put seeds in, and otherwise, shift clicking will obviously go into the um, upgrade slot, so be careful of that. And then it'll already have things hoed, it's already tilled for you, as well as able to cut down trees, because I haven't put an axe in here at all. Uh, it will obviously output what you'd expect, but one thing to keep in mind that I have noticed is it will actually plant the tree on the nearest block, so if I get a sapling it'll actually plant it on top of the chest from what I've come across. Oops, not in the upgrade slot. It will plant on the chest, so if I break that it won't do it. If I fill that in, it will. And that kind of strange. Otherwise we have the quarry which will obviously, after using a quarry recorder, have it where you can obviously mine out a certain specific group of things. I haven't actually started mining those yet, so you can start it and stop it. And because I've got enough power in there, it should be good to go like so. And the different points on the recorder obviously will have it where you select one corner, select another corner, put it in the quarry and it will outline it for you. We'll come back to that a bit later for what it's picked up on. But otherwise, it'll be at the top where you can have a hopper underneath and it'll have to it with that. In part two obviously it'll cover a bit more like the conveyors, the pumps as well as the solar panels and uh yeah thanks so much for watching and goodbye